Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, check it in. This week we got another sneaker custom. This week we're going to do the Jordan 1 Mid, what they call Hyper Royal. So we're just going to paint this blue area here, from here to here, to black, to make it look like the Jordan 1 OG um, Royal. I know they do have black bottoms, but you're not really going to see it. It's going to be on the ground. So this will be the third um, Jordan 1 Mid that I painted to look like a OG colorway. Um, the most recent one, we had got the Jordan 1 mid band and just did the same thing to it to turn it into a, um, a Jordan 1 mid bread. So, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, we're going to do the right shoe for this video, put the left one aside for before and after purposes. First thing first, let's get this bad boy unlaced we'll fast forward this part all right got the laces removed oh yeah i forgot these didn't come with the uh cardboard shoe trees in it when i got them all right so we got that done we're just going to tuck the tongue up into the toe box just to keep from accidentally getting any paint on it even though we are using black All right, get that tucked in. All right, um, first things first, this video is not sponsored by Angelus Paint, but it is my preferred paint to use on sneakers. Um, and I wanna also give a shout out to the homeboy Frankie from Castellan Motivational Standard for the Greenville Driven hat that he sent me recently. Um, once again, thank you, Frankie. So the items we're gonna be using today is Angela's flat black. We're going to be using the Angela's um, leather prepare and deglazer. That's an important step a lot of people skip. We're going to finish it off with the matte acrylic finisher. If you watched the last video of when we did the Jordan 1 mid band to make it into the bread, the matte finish came out a little shinier than the regular finish on um, the shoe. So I did buy some of the Angelus Dollar. Uh, hopefully that will do the trick and, and, and get it to, uh, to match closer. Uh, we are using cotton rounds. You can get these from any of your local drugstore. Mask and tape if you don't have a steady hand. And we're gonna be using three different brushes. The main brush I'm gonna be using is the 3 8 um, angular shader. This is what I use a majority of my customs. I'm going to be using the um, the number six filbert brush to apply the matte finish with. Then I have the number zero round Angelus brush to get in the real tight areas. All right, I believe I covered everything. Um, we're going to be shooting from two different camera angles. So let's get into this. I forgot I need to have paper towels on standby. All right, so the first step, you want to use the leather prepare and deglazer. This helps the paint adhere to the sneaker better. The key thing on this, you want to get a tackiness feeling. That's how you know it's working. You'll also notice it will dull the paint. You will have some paint will come off onto the cotton round. Let's do the other side. Try to grab another one. Let's 
check it, make sure it's got the stickiness feeling that we need. It's kind of like a tackiness. Let's go over it one more time. All right, we got that part done. Let's check the black up. Last time I did run a piece of masking tape along here on the other side just to keep from getting any up on the blue. Well, I should have said on the red on the other one I did. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. All right, got that taped off. All right, let's shake the black up one more time. I like to just turn the lid upside down and get the paint out of it that way. All right, so we're gonna be using the 3 8 angler shader. Let's get into it. All right, we got the first coat on, looking pretty good. I can't remember on the Jordan 1 uh, mid band if we use two or three coats, but we're gonna do the other side off camera just to speed up the video so it's not super long, so we'll be back, all right? All right, we end up doing two coats of black on both sides, covered very nicely. I think I might have did three on the red, but maybe because the red was coming through a little bit more. So let's remove the tape. Very, very nice. All right, the last step is to do the, the acrylic matte finisher. If you watch the one of me doing the Draw One mid band, you may recall the matte finish appeared a little shinier than the rest of the shoe. So we're hoping by adding this Angelus Dollar a little bit to it, it will help. We'll pour a little bit into here. Never 
use this dollar, but from what I've watched in tutorials, they say to add anywhere from like three to four drops. All right, four drops. Be using the number six filbert brush for that. Just mix that up. Hopefully, we get better results than we did on the drawing one mid band. Even though you can't really tell when it's got laces in it. What this is doing is help protecting the paint, give that extra layer of protection, so this is important to do. Alright, get that one side done, it's still wet so it needs to dry. Hopefully the overall results come out well. Let's do the other side. Gonna hit it with a heat gun and see how it dries. Still a little shinier than the rest, but Maybe I should add a few more drops of dollar. We're gonna let this sit, even though I just hit with the heat gun before we put the laces back in it, so we'll be back, all right? All right, we're back. Uh, let it dry. It's still a little bit shinier than the rest of the black, but when you have the laces in it, you're really not gonna be able to see it. I did add four drops of the dollar in it. Maybe on the next shoe, I'll add maybe five or six to see if that helps. So let's lace these bad boys up finish off this easiest custom you'll ever do. All right, we're gonna fast forward this part. pretty good like I said you can't really tell the difference on the matte finish once the laces are in it for the most part unless down your feet I don't believe anyone's really gonna notice that so super easy custom once again just the royal version of the bread version that we did uh, a few weeks back so um, this is the easiest alternative to keep from having to spend a lot of money I don't even remember what these are currently going for but I know like on the on the Jordan 1 breads, the price is probably in my size close to a thousand if not higher. And I imagine these are pretty high as well. It's been a while. I haven't really looked at the price of the um, Jordan 1 Royal since all the hype with the last dance blew up and everything. But a uh, very cheap alternative. I do have the 2013 and the 2017 OG highs, but I wanted something that I wouldn't be afraid to rock and you know, you have the risk of people stepping on you and stuff and wearing them out. So I got these for right at retail. They retail for 115. I scored them on GOAT for 117. So that, hopefully whoever I bought these from got a discount to make any money on that transaction. <laughs> but uh, 
there you go. Once again, run down the final steps. We use the Angelus leather preparer and deglazer to prep the leather. I did tape off the areas there and there to, just to keep from getting black up on it. Uh, we use the Angelus flat black. The brushes used, I use the 3 8 angular shader. This is why I use the majority of it. Then I use the Angelus uh, Zero Round to get it up in the tight areas. Then once that dried, we use the Angelus Matte Acrylic Finisher. I did add four drops of the Dolor to try to help make the matte finish not be um, as shiny as it was on my last project. And with that, I applied it with the Angelus Number no. Six Filbert brush. So, and uh, I forgot to mention when I did the um, leather preparing to glazer, used the cotton rounds to um, apply that to the leather. But uh, that's everything. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. This is probably the easiest custom you ever do. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and limited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don sign out. Peace. Mafioso 